Good morning, you guys. Welcome, YouTube, back to the channel. We are headed out today in the trucks to go do some adventuring, gassing up, getting ready to rock. We're gonna we're gonna go out. We're going in the full size trucks today, so we've got the Ford Tremor, and then we've also got a Dodge 1500 with us. So it's gonna be, uh, you know, we, I don't think it'll be anything so much challenging as much as exploring. But every time I say that, it seems like we have some sort of mishap. So stay tuned, you guys. Hopefully we get a good day out, get you some good views. And uh, we're going south of Calgary today to explore. So we'll see kind of what we can find. So much less traveled area, more so like back roads, old logging detachments, deactivated forestry stuff, that kind of thing. So yeah, we'll see what happens. To everybody that's new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate the support. It's how we are able to uh, continue to do these videos. And if you're new, be sure to check out below. I've got a link in the description showing uh, some of our off-road adventures and what, what this channel is all about. Thank you for uh, coming over to the channel and we are gonna get out there right now. So we're gonna make a mile. We'll see you in a bit. Oh! Grabbing my bear spray. We are way out here. We need to be on that side. Unfortunately, we were going down a trail, exploring. Trail fix, we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Rim exploded, look at this. Good business, minus the shock. At this time, we'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors for making this YouTube channel possible. Don't move or anything. Get all these guys. All right, so we just got to the trailhead and aired down. We went down to about 20 PSI just while we're running some of this fire road here. It's a little bit rougher. Um, it's not an area that's well graded, so it is nice to have uh, have a little bit of extra cushion in the truck. So now we're uh, headed up to see uh, see kind of what's out here. Looks like uh, looks like we've got a little bit of snow on the top, so you guys can kind of see the mountain up there. So we're actually going to go up and over top of that. So who knows? We might actually get into the snow at the very top. We'll see. Looks like we're gonna get a pretty nice sunrise here, pal. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, gonna be a nice day. The mountains look pretty crazy. It looked like they were uh, dusted a bit with, with snow. Looks like it. You think we're gonna run into some snow today? Don't say that F word. Snow, 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 snow. It's coming, buddy. Wow, look at the views on this trail. Got a full blown mountain there. Gorgeous. Nice little bit of incline. Some good little trails out here. You're not in four wheel drive. Something's gotta be going on because I walked up this like nothing. So something's up. Are you in four low? obstacle we needed four low for right on four low means we're having fun oh, that's not four low yeah your front wheel drive is not in bro you don't have four wheel drive right now I'm seeing zero front wheel spin. You can feel it in four wheel drive? Yeah. Because 
when I put it in park, it wants to go because it's in low gear and for low. Wow, maybe the back end, but Stay. something's going on. Stay. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what the issue is. For some reason, the four-wheel drive's not locking in on his truck, or he says he's got four-wheel drive, but that's not a steep hill. Should be able to walk right up it, so I don't know. Maybe we're, we're trying to tremor a, a Dodge Ram and that just won't go, I have no idea. We'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna go around and see if there's a bypass. He can just keep coming, I guess. All right, so we're on this old, uh, call it a shelf road, I suppose. It's a little bit more than a, uh, than a, a logging road. Um, Jeff had to go home at the end of the day his four-wheel drive either wasn't working or wasn't working very well um, so he took the safe uh, safe choice and uh, and went home which is probably the good thing you know if your equipment's not in good shape at the start of the trail you definitely don't want to tempt fate and, uh, and see what will happen down the road but uh, yeah so I'm gonna venture on solo and try to hit this uh, try to hit this trail so the same thing that we were on before I'm actually going on right now backwards so it looks like it cuts right through the uh, cuts through the pass here, and then we'll connect uh, back where we started. So, yeah, we'll see see what kind of obstacles are in uh, in for us. Nice, nice and uh, it's nice and tight. Definitely throwing a couple new pinstripes on the old tremor, but uh, yeah, it's pretty at the very least. I'll get you guys some footage here, and we'll just keep right on trucking. Well, darn it. That's gonna be a tough one for me to make it up. Although, it would appear, I've got a bypass over here. I think if I can find a way down here and then up the other side, should be able to keep going. And we don't have to deal with going down into this trench. See what we can do. Actually, you know what, just for fun. Go into four low here. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Luckily, there's not too much snow yet, so we don't have to worry about this just being slippery as all hell. I think we're fine. I'm pretty sure we can make it up that. Maybe we throw the rear locker on just for fun. I don't know. This is where the fun starts. You know, you get to get into these spots where, you know what, a lot of people would probably turn around, but if you can get through these, you know, what looks like a scary section, then you can get into some fun trail. I just got to come through here. No problem. Yeah, little bypass. And then obviously we can go 
up through there. So perfect, easy peasy. Right, no problem. Do you guys see? Obviously, my breakover angle sucks. Like those boards do not bend. I just was on them, and uh, they don't bend. They uh, they do take the impact pretty good. We scraped, you know, a little bit back here, but you know, that's sweet fa, not a big deal. And then obviously here we did come in a little bit to the side, but watch this. Bam, fixed. Oh, come here, you. So that's fine. Yeah, that you know, it does suck whenever these get filled up, but. As long as the door opens still, you're good. That's nothing. Now, my experience, at least wheeling in BC, is that once you get past one big deactivation, which is, it's just necessitated by the uh, the logging companies, but as soon as you get past one deactivation, then you're pretty much in the home clear the whole rest of the way because they, they dig up one spot really good where they think, okay, no one's gonna go past this. And then it's just all clear from there. So we should have uh, a pretty good little road. And I guess this actually connects to a truck trail called, um, the heck is it called here i am using my maps slacker slacker creek trail so we're uh, we're on the path now oh that's gonna touch well maybe not Woo! that's nice and steep eh And see how this gets nice and skinny here and this is all washed out and dropped off so this is where you get to start using your smarticles and saying okay can my truck make it is the ground solid that's a big one obviously in this size you can see in a full size how you really got to watch these uh in between points we're up against the canyon yeah definitely something you got to start thinking about especially if you're rolling solo um, but we're gonna go for it because you know be rude not to and uh you can see this has all been cut out, so this is obviously a pretty well-traveled trail. Um, someone's come through here for sure this year and uh, and has made it uh, made a good pass out of it, so it's good. So I had to hike up to the top of the peak here. Um, the truck trail only got to kind of right below it. And then from there, it was this really like, there, there was a trail, but I would say that it's uh, definitely been beat with uh, side-by-sides and quads. It is not a truck trail. It's definitely not an F-150 trail, but uh, yeah, this is, this is a hell of a view. You can actually see there's another peak over there. I'm not gonna walk that far. That's probably another, I don't know, at least a kilometer, kilometer and a half, but it is, insane the view up here and i did bring the drone with me so i'll be sure to get you guys some shots of this but uh damn that is a view that is a view you can see you know not for miles for you know eons you can actually see i think right there is yeah it's tough to see below but uh that's i'm pretty sure that's chain lake uh, reservoir so we're really really up in the uh, up in the hills here but really really pretty super super cool run and you know what guys i'm going to uh, i'm going to end our video here 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming along for the adventure. I love this. I love being out in nature. I love being out where nobody else has gone or it's very difficult to get to, get to. Not a lot of people get to see these places. So thank you so much for coming along. If you're still with us, be sure to smack that subscribe button. We appreciate the support and uh, I will see you guys on the next adventure. All right, until then, Country Slicker out of here.